Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this tutorial video. Um, my name is Megan, otherwise known as Infinite Cherry, and I'm here today to show you how to do this look that I have on right now. And this look came a long way because it started out as something else and then started turning into something else and I hated both of them so I took it all off and started on this and I like this a lot better. I went through the process of like I don't really like what's happening and I guess I'll just make it work and it'll just be a thing and then it turned into like okay I actually do like this. It all happened when I put the false eyelashes on and then finally I was like okay I like this. So that's basically what happened there and it's all focused around this palette. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure you have. Um, it looks like that. And I was very inspired by this color right here. It's um, basically the main reason I bought this palette was because I really loved this color here. I also really like Unicorn, which is that one there, and Orange You Fancy, which is that one right there. Um, and I'll probably do more looks with those ones in the future. Uh, but I really wanted to dig into fresh which was the yellow one. Um, really wanted to dig into it and do a look with that like right off the bat. So that's basically what I am doing in this video today. And again, it's a process. I really didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do with this. So I'm glad that it turned out the way that it did because I actually really like it. Um, and I hope you guys like it as well. So if you want to see how I did this and the process that I went through because it didn't, it wasn't easy, um, then obviously you know what to do. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get started, even though uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. So yeah, so I already primed my eyelid and for that I used my Lime Crime Eyeshadow Helper, which is my favorite primer ever because it actually keeps my shadows from creasing and that's great if you have super oily eyelids like me. So now the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to um, use my highlight shade. I always do highlight first and for that I'm using Max Mylar which is that guy right there. If you are pale this is a really great highlight color option because it's, it's just like light enough that I get the highlight but it's not like too light and it looks really nice and you know blended and it doesn't have like a crazy amount of shimmer or anything like that in it so I like to go with that one mm -hmm. here I go putting my finger into eyeshadows because I'm trying to keep my eyes on the camera but I'm also trying to figure out where everything is in front of me because it's kind of a mess Okay, so for transition color, I'm using this guy from Coastal Scents. It's called Persian Peach. Um, it's kind of like my poor man's version of like, you know, like Maximoa Silk or Peach, Peach Smoothie? Is that what it's called? Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. You know, this was like a dollar, so... Or two dollars or something like that. So I use that as my transition color, basically. And then the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and use is my new palette, which is why I'm doing this. So it's the Artist Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm going to be using Orange You Fancy, which I love orange, it's one of my favorite colors, and I love puns, so win-win right there. Um, and I'm just taking this on a fluffy crease brush. I don't think I said what brush it is, it doesn't really matter, it's Bare Minerals. You guys probably aren't going to care. So I'm just going over the Persian peach with that color. So we got that in there, nice and blended. I'll probably go in and add a little bit more later, but it doesn't matter right now. Because right now I'm actually going to just deepen up the crease. And for that, I'm going to be using, I'm just trying to remember what I did actually. Mm. Okay, I skipped a step, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter because you can't tell anyways. <laughs> so, so you kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever. It's the old eyeshadow formula, but in case you have it, it's number 18. Um, but it's just a nice primary, even though orange isn't a primary color, it's a nice primary <laughs> orange color. 
and I'm using that on a crease brush again. This one's a little bit more tapered though, so it's like a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like smaller? I don't know, that's not really the word I'm looking for, but it's okay. I'm gonna go back into Orange You Fancy for just a little tiny bit and just kind of blend that in and get that going. So the next step is to then put the star of the show in place. Um, this is pretty much the main reason I got this palette, is because I was really interested in this color here. Yep, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> here we go. So it's fresh, <laughs> pH fresh, um, which is, you know, like pH fat, like it's cooler than just regular F fresh. Um, and I'm going to take that on the... Um, this and brush might be important, you guys might want this. Um, this is from the Electric Palette. It's the Electric Palette brush. It's amazing for pretty much everything. So I love it and I use it for a lot of stuff, um, especially if I'm doing like a cut crease, which I'm not, but like maybe we're doing kind of a soft cut crease, it doesn't matter. So I'm just taking that and putting that all over the lid. So now that I've got that ridiculously beautiful golden yellow color all over my lid, I'm just going to... what am I going to do? I'm going to go back into the Makeup Forever uh, orangey color, uh, number 18, and I'm just going to pick that up again on a more tapered crease brush and just kind of go a little bit in the corner over here with that. Just to kind of deepen up that corner go in with my fluffier crease brush and pick up Orangey Fancy again and then just go over that. Because I like Orangey Fancy, I want that everywhere. Even though I bought the palette for fresh, I'm thinking maybe I also kind of bought it for Orangey Fancy. Because it's a really pretty color and I'm really into it. Hmm, okay. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit because I want that nice crisp line on the edge. And to do that I use these guys, these Almay oil-free cotton wipes, makeup remover, rounds, whatever they're called. Oil-free gentle eye makeup remover pads. I buy those in bulk because they're awesome. They don't irritate my eyes. I'm going to now just use, um, I guess like a pigment, but it's it's from Bare Minerals and before they started pressing things, everything was in a loose form. So it's called Sun Goddess. Um, it's very old, but you know, I worked there for five and a half years. So, so I'm just gonna take that on the end of my little brush here and highlight on that inner corner. I started with Makeup Forever, a uh, pigment from Makeup Forever, and then I didn't like the color because it was more like red orangey, and I definitely wanted more gold, so I switched over to Sun Goddess because it's beautiful. So we have pretty much the basis for everything now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with glitter because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it without it, and I like glitter, so we're going to be using Coastal Scents glitter in Sunburst. Starburst. Oh, now I want Starburst. Okay, so Starburst is the color of this one. So it's a really obnoxiously bright neon yellow color, which goes with what's going on. And for that, I'm going to use my Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And usually what I do is when I don't want like a lot of glitter, is I'll just kind of dump a little bit on the end of my finger. So I have some of you know, the glitter, glitter base on my finger. And then I just go in and pick up some of the glitter with my finger. And then go onto the eyelid with it. This is if I don't want like a whole lot of glitter, like if I just want like kind of a nice little wash of glitter. And 
you know, I think it looks pretty because it's kind of, it's, you know, as wearable as glitter can get, I guess. Because it's not going to be super glitter-tastic. But I like that too, so do what you do what you gotta do, basically. I'm also gonna take the little a little brush, looks like that, and just get a little bit on the inner corner in here, just to kind of make sure everything is kind of looks cohesive. Okay, so now I have glitter. I wasn't planning on using glitter today, but it happened apparently. So, yes, now we have glitter on the lid, and what I'm going to do next is, um, I guess I'll do liner last, and I'll finish up, even though I did liner first when I did my other eye, um, I'll finish up the bottom lid, or the lash line, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So I'm taking, again, some more eye primer. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take Orange You Fancy and just go on the bottom. I didn't really have a plan for this, I just kind of threw it on at the last second. Oh, you think you fancy? So now that I've really weirded everyone out. I'm going to do the aligner. So as you can probably tell, it's not a regular black liner because that's stupid. Again, if you do that, it's fine. It's not really stupid. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my Lime Crime um, Pink Velvet? Yeah, Pink Velvet Velveteen. I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown. It's supposed to be for gel eyeliner, but obviously I'm not using it that way. I'm going to take that brush and just pick up some of that with it. Then as I was doing it, I was kind of like, well, it's like too pink and there's like a lot of orange going on the look, so I kind of don't like it. So I just went over it with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in a go-go. So same thing, I just picked up some from the brush onto my brush and just went over it, but also kind of mixed it, like especially in the wing part. I really mixed it to get that kind of orangey pinky kind of color. Okay. And it's like maybe a little too orange. So I'm just going to go back with a little bit of pink and just try to mix the colors again. Cool, okay. Well, I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna throw on some lashes really quick and I think the lashes I'm going to use are, sorry, they're kind of on the side, are House of Lashes, what are these, Iconic. Um, so these are like one of my favorites. So I'm gonna use those for our lashes and um, I'll be back with some lashes on and then we'll talk about what's gonna go on my face, so stay tuned in just a second. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we're gonna go into what I'm gonna put on my face. And I already started out with my primer, which is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer for mattifying. And for a foundation, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel in 14 Ivory Medium. I actually really like this foundation, even though I'm oily, 
and it by no means keeps me matte. I really, really like this foundation. And the main reason is because it looks like skin when I wear it. It doesn't look like, you know, I put foundation on. So I really like it. I really like the texture. I feel like the texture is really good. And it just really lends to the fact that it makes my skin look like skin. So I just dotted a whole bunch on my face as you can see. I'm going to be using this random BH Cosmetics brush to kind of just buff it in. when I get my eyebrows on the brush. It's always so difficult to like blend around there. Great, so next thing to do is to not powder yet because I'm gonna try something new today. I made a sample for myself <laughs> of the Paracone No Highlighter, No Highlight Highlight? I think that's what it was called. And I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to see like what the consistency was like and how it looked on. So I'm just, there, there we go, we're going for it. We're dabbing it on. It's really pretty. All right, so now that we've done that, I just need to powder in other areas because I get very oily. So I'm gonna use this guy from L'Oreal. It's Infallible Pro Matte. It's not really, but that's okay. And I have this Sephora brush that I got for Rattus. Whatever. It's our best-selling brush. It's the Multitasker Powder Brush. More, or no, I don't even think it's called a powder brush. Multitasker Brush probably is just what it's called. I'm just tapping it on in the areas where I get oily, basically, which is all over my face. Yay. And now for blush. So for blush, we're going to do Rockator from Benefit, and I'm just going to be using the Bare Minerals brush. So I just kind of tap it on first, and then I'm just going to wipe off the brush a little. And just go back in and blend some ish out. I had an idea of what I was gonna do with my lips, but now that everything changed from what I originally wanted to do, I don't know. I think I'm gonna replicate what I did up here with my liner on my lips. So Kat Von D a Go Go and uh, Lime Crime Pink Velvet. So because um, I don't care, I'm gonna do like kind of a really wet application of it like you know really wet so it doesn't have a chance to dry gotta do it fast okay lips sure we're gonna go with it I don't care let's release the Kraken Okay, so now that my hair is down and it's not anything special, it's just brushed and then I kind of zhuzhed it a little bit. Yeah, this was basically just me playing with makeup and playing with the new Anastasia Artist palette. And um, it started out as something very different, so I'm actually very pleased with where it is now. Uh, although I kind of feel like Big Bird, but Big Bird with glitter. It's fine. But yeah, this is the look, so I hope you guys liked it. Other than that, it's been weird, and uh, stay weird. So, until the next time, bye.